हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू संकेत ग्रुप ऑफ कोचिंग आई एम संकेत पुरोहित टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी बी हैव बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश एंड इन विच वी विल बी सीइंग पोएम नंबर नाइन द स्नेक ट्राइंग रिटर्न बाय डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू ई रॉस नाउ व्हाट द समरी वांट्स टू से या पूरी पोएम की जो थीम है समरी है वो क्या कहना चाहती है दैट द स्नेक ट्राइंग बाई डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू ई रॉस इज अ सिंपल पोएम रिटर्न इन फ्री वर्स विच डिस्क्राइब्स हाउ अ स्नेक ट्राइज टू एक्सकेप द ब्लोज ऑफ स्टिक वेन द पोएट सीज द स्नेक फ्लिंग फ्रॉम इट्स परस्यूअर कैरिंग अ स्टेक द पोएट फील्स क्वाइट अनहैप्पी ही डज नॉट वॉन्ट एनी वन टू चेज द स्नेक अवे ही फील्स इवन सैड वेन ही सीज दैट द पर्सन हैज रेज द स्टिक with the intent of hitting the snake in order to kill it the snake moves swiftly with graceful curves of his long thin body and vanishes into the reeds growing on the water the poets want the snake to escape he even appeals silently to snake pursuers pursuer to let him go this wish is like a prayer the poet wants to tell the pursuer that the snake is quite harmless he is harmless even to the children and he was lying quietly on the stand on the sand until someone saw him as soon as the snake was seen the poor creature had to flee from the place for his life and disappear among the tall green reeds growing on water nearby in short the moral of this short poem is live and let let live we human beings are not the sole masters of earth all living creatures even wild animals have the right to live on earth so we should learn to protect all the animals rather than trying to harm or kill them as soon as we see them okay so that was the summary now let us uh, let me explain you paragraph by paragraph what does this mean so the snake trying first paragraph the snake trying to escape the pursuing stick with sudden curvings of thin long body how beautiful and graceful are his shapes now pursuing pursuing ka matlab hota hai chasing or you can also say it as following curvings curvings means twisting so yahan pe kya likh poet jo hai kehna chahte hain ki the snake tries to escape from being hit by the stick that is following it as the snake crawls it body twists and turns forming fascinating shapes the next paragraph he glides through the water away from the stroke oh let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt small and green he is even he is harmless even to children now what do you mean by word glides the glides ka matlab hota hai move then stroke stroke means hitting of the stick and reeds reeds ka matlab hota hai water or marsh plants with sticks with thick stems okay so what this para wants to say uh, the snake moves through the water in order to save itself the poet pleads to let it escape and hide behind the thick marshy plants as it is harmless the small green colored snake is harmless even to children next along the sand he lay until observed and chased away and now he vanishes in the ripples among the green slim reeds now vanishes vanishes ka matlab hota hai disappear hona so what does this four to five lines wants to say is till it was spotted and chased away by the person holding a stick it lay quietly in the sand in order to save itself the snake disappears in the ripples of the water and hides in the camo fragrin green bushes bushes of the marshy plants so that was the poem the snake trying now we will be discussing or i can say i will be explaining you the figures of speech of this poem okay so starting with uh, we are going to see as we have already seen in many of my past videos i will be posting or saying it line by line line by line and we will end it up okay bachcho so very first line the snake 
ट्राइंग तो अब स्नेक ट्राइंग अकेला तो नहीं है हम लोग ऐसा साथ में ले लेंगे द स्नेक ट्राइंग टू एस्केप द परसुइंग स्टिक इज परसोनिफिकेशन क्यों परसोनिफिकेशन क्योंकि यहाँ पे स्टिक को दो स्टिक विच इज नॉन लिविंग थिंग इज गिवन ह्यूमन क्वालिटी ऑफ परसुइंग then next which certain curvings of thin long body is your metonymy the movement of the snake is described through the certain curvings of thin long body then next how beautiful and graceful are his shapes exclamatory mark if you can see yahan pe hai to it is exclamation next he glides through the water away from the stroke is again metonymy because the word stroke represents the stick thrown at the snake then oh let him go over the water into the reeds without <coughs> hurt ab dekho o o yahan se hi aapko pata chal jata hai it is nothing but your exclamation then next small and green he is harmless even to children is alliteration he harmless h h okay consonant sound the next along the land uh, sorry along the sand he lay until unobserved and chased away Inter internal rhyme lay away theek hai then next and now he vanishes in the ripples among the green slim reeds to wo hai aapka metonymy because ripples jo hai stand for water waves and again we can use alliterations ripple reads r r consonant sound repeat ho raha hai so that's the end of our poem number 9 if you have gone through this please do like share comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel sanket purohit from sanket group of coaching that's the end of our poem number 9 thank you very much bye bye bachcho